Guys, I'm about to pick up my Uber client. Let's get weird. Hi. All right. So now to make it go away, all you gotta do is do the opposite. So I'm going to trim everything so it's aligned perfectly. So it makes life for us easier. So delete the background, delete the rest of that. Okay. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the background first. So we're actually going to do the this video. So what you're going to do is, um, let's see. So what you're going to do is you're going to go once you have a good, I don't know, wherever you want this to show. So I'm going to go right there is where I want it to go away. So I'm going to go and click on this here. And you're going to see that it's animated. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the plus icon on the left to add a keyframe. And we're going to go here to the very end and just drag this to the left. And you're gonna drag it all the way to where your first point started. So now if I, so now if I push play, it's gonna look something like that, sweet. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing for each of the, of the layers here. So it's a long process, I know, but if there's an easier way that you guys wanna do, you can either just group all of this and then just have it kind of disappear that's a fast way of doing it or if you want to be fancy you can create more keyframes but to, to make it a little bit more easier for you guys I'm just gonna group everything um, so I'm gonna click new compounds clip but what you would do is you would just do the opposite of what you've done in the beginning to the end so it makes it go away but I'm gonna make this one easier for you guys so I'm just gonna name this and what I'm gonna do is once this is here and it starts to move I am going to go to the transform keyframe and I'm going to go to the end, uh, go frame to the left so you can see, and I'm going to drag this to the left as well. Why not? Screw it. So now if I push play, it's going to look something like that. I mean, you can do something like that. It's as simple as that. That works too. Um, so now once you guys are done, I know that took a long time, but uh, once you guys render this out, so it plays back smoothly. Uh, this is what you guys are gonna get. So with everything finished, let me make this bigger. This is what it's gonna look like. And with the audio enabled again here. Hey guys, I'm about to pick up my Uber client. Let's get weird. Hi. All right. And there you go guys. You finally did an Instagram overlay uh, for your videos. And it's as simple as that. Without any plugins or anything like that, all you're gonna do is just use keyframes, guys. Keyframes is your go-to, he's your friend. Do it, it's awesome. And yeah, so if you guys found this tutorial helpful, be sure to leave a like, guys, that'd be awesome. I mean, if you guys really do like the videos that I'm putting out, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so you guys don't miss out on a video. And yeah, peace out, guys.